Hello YouTube, Chris here, Mindflare Games, and this is this month's update. I kind of forgot last month's update because there was so much going on. However, we have a update video uh, voiceover, and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So, first of all, the prototypes came in from the Game Crafter, and they were phenomenal. Oh, and by the way, if you do hear background sound, it's because I'm in a temporary... I'm uh, recording off my laptop, which isn't the greatest, and I'm on my baby's playmat. Um, just because I don't want to wake them upstairs. So yes, that said, uh, the prototypes came in from the Game Crafter and they were fantastic. However, there were issues and um, I have corrected those and I'm just waiting to do a few more things, a few more tweaks before I uh, send off for the next um, set of prototypes, which hopefully should be all correct. So things I changed were the obvious mistake on the uh, small health potion, no it was the small uh, shield potion so that's been changed um, and that is now correct there was the text on a Linux's card uh, that needed to be made bold and that's been done now um, the Mindflare promo card was really overpowered looking at it so what I've ended up doing was keeping the ability which was um, which gives you the ability to reduce your opponent's action points per turn from 5 to 4 um, and I've now removed the actual uh, dice attack, uh, the uh, the attack on that uh, card, just because having a, I think it was a six attack and a four dice roll or a five dice roll, uh, whichever it was, um, having an attack that powerful on one card, along with the ability to reduce your opponent's um, action points. Uh, was way too overpowered, so uh, I've revisited that and uh, I've removed the attack, but we've still we still get the uh, ability of um, void of denial. Um, so that's roughly all that needed to be done with the prototypes. Oh, the other thing I did as well was I've made the artwork uh, a lot bigger. So uh, what I noticed with uh, Grey Tail and Nahum that um, they, the the actual images could have been a lot bigger so I've ended up cutting off the legs and just uh, blown up the image uh, slightly more and uh, with, this is with every character, it's with Krosrog, um, even uh, the only ones I didn't do were Grizzly and the Direwolf I think and the Boar, the Boar might have just been enlarged slightly uh, I increased the uh, brightness of the Shadow Dog as well so that's um, one thing, another thing I've changed. But yeah, that's the prototype. So the prototypes now are done. Uh, I did remove the UV uh, protection as well, um, just because it does darken the image slightly. And I was speaking to Eldritch Kingdom, and his cards are, you know, you if you've seen them, they're phenomenal. Uh, but he doesn't use them, and you can't really tell um, that th there's no real difference for me. Um, so I'm not going to include it on mine. And I know it's only like 10 cents a sheet uh, to have this, but to not have the image darkened that slight amount, it's kind of... Yeah, it's negligible, but it's something I've decided to do. Um, so that's the update of the prototypes. The prototypes will be... Uh, I will be purchasing the next lot of prototypes and some more stuff, uh, including the game mat, a custom D6... And that is it, I think. Uh, I'm doing in this order. So that I'll be making that order at the end of June. And hopefully we'll get those within the month. Or within uh, by the end of July, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one aspect of this video. Um, and the next aspect is all your support. Your support uh, through this last month has been phenomenal. Uh, everything from the custom chits video to the opening of Illuminant Souls and uh, Eldritch Kingdom packs. Uh, the support you're giving me and the support you're giving those guys is brilliant and you know please keep it up because you're doing absolutely great and uh, I really uh, appreciate all the support you're giving the channel and everybody else who's involved within this community so that's uh, a big thank you. Um, I have set up a new discord so this discord is just for mind flayer game products uh, and games so it, there's a channel on there for Dysomania, Venkfi and possibly other stuff in the future along with general chit chat and stuff like that so there is a uh, dedicated mind flayer games discord channel the link for which is in the description of this video I've also set up a Twitter 
Now, I couldn't get Mindflayer Games on Twitter, but we have an interesting Twitter account, and that is Karastoff. And the link for this is in the description as well. So as you know, Karastoff is one of the characters within Venkvi. He is the one that is kind of modelled uh, on me, which is like a pseudo model of me. So what I've ended up doing, it's simply at Karastoff, and it's Karastoff the Light. And it is a Twitter that is dedicated to him. Uh, there will be other stuff on there as well, but the Twitter itself is designed for his thoughts and his insight into the world of Venkfi and uh, adventures he's been on, things he's been a part of, some lore, a lot of lore dump within, a, you know, a single tweet, um, which is easier to get out than a lot of the lore videos I've had planned just because of time and everything like that. So check out that Twitter. Um, because there's going to be some interesting stuff posted on there. Um, so yeah, so we've got the Discord, we've got the new Discord, we've got the new Twitter account, and we've also got Coffee, no, or Kofi, or however you pronounce it, Kofi.com. Uh, this is a way that you can tip or buy me a coffee. It's kind of weird to say it out loud, but it's a way of uh, supporting Mindflare games, and. It's like three three dollars if you wanted to donate and support the channel. I've chosen this over like Patreon because I haven't really got much to give back at this moment in time. I will do in the future, but at this moment in time, I really haven't got that much to give back as uh, rewards and stuff like that. But for those who do buy me a coffee, um, I would prefer tea, but uh, coffee will do. Um, you will get shout outs and I will try and work some stuff in that um, every couple of months or something will do something. I, I'm not 100% sure yet, but that uh, that is in place and there is uh, a link for that in the description as well. So we are around the 7 minute 30 mark on this video. This is a quite long um, video for me to ramble on. So yeah, we've covered the prototypes, we've covered uh, Discord, we've covered Coffee and we've um, gone over the Kerstoff uh, Twitter. So yeah, that is the update for this um, for this month. I haven't, or I won't be purchasing any more other community games just yet. It will probably be another couple of months, because I just want to focus on Venkfi at the moment. We're almost there. Um, I also want to give a shout out to um, everybody who's purchased uh, Dysomania. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate you supporting the channel and uh, you know I hope you have fun with those games it's a it's a great two-player game and you can have more than two players um, and speaking of Dysomania I want to do a like a mini uh, tournament against myself to see which uh, Dysomania character is the world champion for 2018 so that's in the pipeline as well but yeah I'm gonna sign off now thank you for all the support over the last month and well since I uh, started the uh, and be quite, became a member of this community. And I will catch you in the next one for more awesome TCG stuff, Mindflare games, other unboxings when I get round to doing those, and more insight into the game, rules and shenanigans and everything else that you kind of uh, have come to hopefully enjoy on this channel. So until then, I've been Chris, this has been Mindflare Games, and I will catch you in the next one. Toodle pip. Chris here again, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, comment down below on what you like, and I will catch you in the next one for some more awesome stuff, some homemade trading card games, some more board games, and some other stuff in between as well. You're really great, and I appreciate you viewing this channel. I'll catch you in the next one.